Hello, my name is Hadia bin Tafsil. I am currently studying in 9th and I am a student in XNY's foundation course uh, program. So, uh, if I have to talk about how this foundation course has benefited me, well, it's kind of long story, I guess. And um, I think in shortened words that I can say I can confidently say that this foundation course has helped me mature, you know, mature me emotionally in you know a particular way. So I think it mainly helped me improve the way I study and I focus and I put um, you know prioritize my time and the topics that I need to study for a uh, subject or for an exam and how I deal with um, you know the different questions that I c come across an exam and I think it's kind of um, helping me put up in the mentality of writing not just a regular exam and not just a board exam but also a entrance exam and you know other scholarship uh, exams etc so um, one thing I have to uh, mainly tell is that um, the, uh, the thing I find unique in this foundation course is that there is something about it that you cannot uh, you know, acquire in a regular school system because there is uh, as a student and I, can, I think many other students have similar opinions I can confidently say that sometimes I think our education system is a little bit, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, call, you know, forcing students to mug up information because we have these textbooks, we have these syllabuses, and we have these printed out informations. And what our teachers tell is usually you have to learn this, you have to learn that, you have to know point A, you have to know this, this will come for the test, this will come for the exam, etc, etc, etc. And what most of us do, like if you're a straight A student like me, is that you usually mug up that thing, you by heart word to word, page to page, everything, and then you write the exam and then, you know, you get the marks that, you know, you supposedly expect or not. But in, in X and Y, I don't, you know, no matter how much you mug up, if you uh, don't know how to deal with the question, you don't know how to, you, you don't know how to tamper with the question, you won't get the mark. I think it's mainly because of its objective um, X and Y exams, you know, genuinely our unit tests and our term, term exams, it's like that objective kind, like the one that they have in these entrance exams and you know, JE, NEET, all those kind of stuff. And, you know, the exam that you usually write in school that my, myself and many students have written for about, you know, their entire 12 years of education is usually subjective ones. So I think what makes the main difference between subjective exam and objective exam is that when you're writing a subjective exam, um, you can, you know, somewhat, it's not, it's a probability of, you know you can get some marks out of a question like suppose if there's a question they're asking you to write a paragraph about it if you know something about the topic you can write about it and expect at least some marks even if you're not sure about your answer you will you know if it's a three mark question you'll at least get uh, one and a half or two but in an objective type there's only one correct option and if you don't get that corruption correct option you're losing the entire mark and I think that's what makes it so different. So um, in subjective, like in subjective exams, if you don't know the answer to other questions, if you happen to write, you know, sufficient for other certain questions, you and, you know, your examiner is you know, satisfied with your answer, you will get, you know, some, um, you know, good marks. But if it's an objective exam, if you tend to you know not get the idea of certain questions and you put the wrong option you lose you know many many marks and um, that one thing has affected me a lot in this journey because like i said before i'm a straight a student and I i'm the person who scores like a plus and everything so when i took my first three x and y unit tests i was surprised like 
people uh, like there was a negative marking system obviously uh, so you lose minus 1 marks for every uh, option you get wrong so because of that if you tend to get uh, one answer wrong you lose like totally of 5 marks and that was very much surprising to me at first and i was baffled by that and then later i got to understand like yeah it's gonna be like this and yeah so technically so genuinely if it's a subjective exam and it's a 60 mark paper i will usually expect like 58 or 59 but if it's an objective type exam like this uh, i was very shocked when i learned that i only got 50 and that shattered me cuz i never really lost that much marks in my life life like and that that really deep uh, you know i was really disappointed at first then later i uh, you know learned to adapt to it and i think that's what helped in my maturity journey like for me maturing emotionally because i used to i'm a very sensitive person i get very affected when i lose a lot of marks or if i don't um you know know the answer to a particular question particularly in my field of academics because you know i find it very precious because i mean i'm uh people gen- genuinely say that i'm very academically well so i find it very much of a precious thing to protect that so uh because of that conscience i always tend to pressurize myself down sometimes and if i find that if uh, i don't know the answer to this i kind of get stressed a lot so because of that like uh, the first time i wrote these objective type exams uh, i didn't get the marks i was expecting that didn't mean i lost a lot of marks because i did get some good marks but then like i ended up you know I, i wasn't up to my expectations and uh, like i said before that was very disappointing for me but then later on i realized that uh, that system is very important cuz like i said in the beginning it's not like there's no point in mucking up information cuz what the education system is pushing us all to do is to buy hard textbooks definitions etc and it can be pressurizing a lot like particularly i think for people i mean for me and many other uh, students it's fine but for people who have a techni- you know who are kind of having a problem with memorizing it's going to be tough for them and that learning method is not efficient for them that doesn't mean they're intellectually less smarter because i know some people like that and you know they're very you know they're very nice people and they're very um you know smart in a another type of way and i really appreciate that smartness and i wish i you know i had that sort of intelligence because i think that's what's going to be more benefiting if you happen to uh, aspire to be a scientist or an engineer or a doctor whatsoever because there's no point in knowing information and not knowing how to apply it and i think that knowledge of applying our knowledge um, you know that skill is very important and i think foundation courses like x and y help you uh, you know achieve that kind of technical and application uh, based kind of skill because the way some of the questions are in you know our workbooks it's not like the questions i see in regular school workbooks or in the school exams so i mean um, you know, obviously you need to prepare yourself like that if you want to write an entrance exam but that kind of skill is not just important for writing an entrance exam that kind of skill is important for any sort of problem solving um you know for any kind of problem solving dilemma cuz in our world there are so many things we have to deal with right now like it's not just in the field of science this field of politics in the field of um you know technology etc we uh, humans and we as mankind we have to deal with many problems and we need to have that we need to develop that skill and we need to develop that skill particularly with our young population to deal and solve that problem that so- problem solving 
mindset should be developed that kind of technical mindset that kind of mindset of applying uh, the knowledge i think that's the basis applying knowledge that way of technical thinking is very important and i think that's what most education systems should move to because i've read this in a book that i've read about this somewhere that you know the current education system is genuine particularly in india current education system is based off what the british gave us uh, on the basis of what the you know britain had during the industrial revolution so technically back in those days so technically the education system that we are currently learning in is what people in the 1800s also learned it's that kind of a rigid very um what do you say very you know uh straight forward i mean i won't say straight forward it's kind of a rigid yes and like that mugging up kind like you need to do this you need to obey this you need to do it this way otherwise you're not going to uh, you're not going to uh, pass this exam you know it's kind of like that mindset and i've noticed that in certain teachers also cuz you know that's the kind of uh, system that our education system is fostering and it's not just a problem in india i think it's a problem worldwide that many education systems are forcing children to buy hard their textbooks and you know they and ch- children who didn't understand the topic properly they find it very hard to you know buy hard that topic and people who, who learn you know write this mug- mugged up things in their exam they get full marks without understanding the value of uh, you know grasping the idea of the concept grasping the idea of how to apply that concept and when i joined xny i think my main where, where i can mainly see my improvement was in maths and physics cuz before i didn't have much of an interest for physics before and i didn't understand i mean i i, I mean i didn't uh, know of how much importance these two things had in our current world cuz uh i found physics usually boring like in 7th grade and 6th grade and maths also it was kind of boring for me because i never i mean 6th grade math was all about numbers and digits and you know it kind of it wasn't it didn't click to me like as, as much other subjects did for me so i usually found it very boring and i think mainly I, why i found it boring and why many other people find it boring is because they don't understand the technical value of these kind of things i think this technical value is something that i cannot explain straight forward it's something that you'll only experience once you start to really understand what mathematics and physics and chemistry and biology whatever subject that is like when you understand the purpose of these subjects in our modern day society that's when you only feel the value of you know the value that learning things gaining knowledge it really is and uh, mainly like you said mathematics my mathematics has improved very much like i can i used to take a lot of time to do algebraic problems and linear equations and i i didn't understand exponents properly and with my eighth grade foundation course those all things are very clear with me with proper explanation and the practice the workbooks that they provide us you know i think it has helped me challenge my intuition and uh, it has helped me develop this kind of um uh you know it it has helped me develop that kind of technical some sort of that technical knowledge and i think everyone should gain that kind of technical knowledge like i i have explained it before and yeah so that's technically what this foundation course has helped me and i wish to study in it until like yeah i i wish to continue forward with this and i would recommend others to join a foundation course too for this same reason thank you